and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the aerial rider grizzly i'm going to hop on right now so on this ride On this ride, we're doing strictly a pedal assist two. I want to just show I just want to show how good or easy it is to pedal the Grizzly. And uh show that it you can pedal it I know for the taller folks it may be a little more difficult but if you're probably 5 10 or 9 and under which I'm at 5 9 it's probably a lot easier for you to pedal than someone who's six foot three, for example. But uh, it is, as I get passed by a gas powered, smelly motorcycle. I mean, literally, I can smell the exhaust when he went by. So it's pretty comfortable uh, pedaling at, uh, for me anyway, at Pedal Assist 2 is pretty good at get you in there at about 16 to 17 miles per hour. And looks like the watt meter is bouncing around there. It's hard to get an exact read on it, but it's, three four now it's in the 500s and I switched it to two motors uh, I only had the rear motor uh, now look with two motors you can feel it uh, kick in a little bit more with the second motor uh, more help so it's even simpler to pedal. I am going to throttle right here. Just to get by that intersection. But uh, I forgot to turn off my front motor as you can hear I was doing a little spinning of the wheel there for traction I don't like uh, getting to an intersection and then everybody's looking at everybody there they're looking at me I think they want me to go you know and you're never really sure you sometimes with the tinted windows you can't see the person in the car so it makes it a little difficult I always caution on the side of uh, letting them go first but in that case they were just sitting there and I think they wanted me to go so but yeah I'm gonna leave it in the uh, dual motor uh, mode right here now I started out the meter was showing 100% I'm already at 96 but That doesn't mean a whole lot sometimes, like when once you start pedaling and, or riding, a lot of times it will just drop a little bit right away, but... But pedal assist too, especially there with two motors. Um, you don't have to pedal hard at all, just 
do a consistent steady pedal this is where the electric bike is so nice compared to a traditional bike you know to give you that extra extra power I mean that you don't normally have and are able to easier uh, you know able to climb my uh, hills a little easier or a lot easier and uh, and it allows you to you know to still get exercise in and get you to your destination quicker uh, than the traditional bike and also you could probably carry a little bit more weight, you know, than you could on the traditional bike with the motor or motors, in this case, helping you on your ride. A lot of those folks out there that own a Grizzly can probably tell that I'm on the aerial rider Grizzly right now because the familiar, the familiar sound of the motors, particularly the front one, that's the one that's the louder of the two. It just takes right off when you start pedaling immediately, boom, you're gone, you know, 16 miles an hour just like that. And I'm not ghost pedaling, but you know, if you go, I think if you go beyond two up to three, I believe there's six, uh, there's six uh, pedal assist levels, if you go up to Beyond level two, like the level three and above, uh, you start to ghost pedal. You just can't. I knew that car was going to do that. I was going slow there because I had a feeling he may pull out and not see me there. You really got to be careful with that. People uh, at intersections. That's the, uh, the part you gotta be most alert. Intersections, you should be alert all the time, but especially there. And also if you're in residential neighborhoods like this, you're not gonna ride as fast probably, or you shouldn't be riding quite as quick, but um, that's where you're gonna notice uh, people not seeing you and just pull right out. Like I've had a few instances where I've been riding and the road I'm on, has a lot of cars that are parked on the road and I've had instances where there's cars parked and then a driveway and then cars parked beyond that driveway and then the person in that driveway in, in the middle is backing out and obviously can't see you and you can't really see them until they're pulling out so really got to be kind of you know alert and uh, watching out for something like that. Yeah, it just, it just almost instantly goes up to, uh, now watch, we're basically at a stop here. And now watch how quick when I start pedaling, it just, boom, it just goes. And this is in pedal assist too. <clears throat> if I'm on a bike slash pedestrian path, I like to go with the uh, Grizzly in pedal assist one. And if I'm um, like this, just uh, pedaling around, if I'm not throttling and just want to pedal, uh, I like pedal assist two on this bike. This is a pretty comfortable one. It gets you, you know, you're staying within the legal limit if that's what you're uh, targeting to do. 
and uh, I just kind of that's the way I ride but it depends you know if you're if I'm up out on the road like not these side roads but on more of a main road then I'll go uh, most likely it'll be throttle and uh, I'll be going a lot faster just to keep up try to keep up with things um, but that's just a way that I ride you know we're all a little bit different in how we ride Sometimes you just take a few uh, pedals and then you have to coast because you you know you just get going so quickly that and another stop sign was coming up right there so I didn't want to go too crazy there. That's going to do it for another video here on the channel. I'm glad you came along for the ride here in Pedal Assist 2 on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. I wanted to get out here and do a, another video today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you'd like to leave a comment in the comments below, by all means, go for it. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And as always, until next time. Take care.